Christians throughout the centuries have been yearning for a special day, looking forward to an event that will bring peace and put an end to their troubles. They long to see their Lord coming in the skies. From the early centuries to medieval days, from the age of the Reformation to the Great Disappointment, the Second Coming has held the attention of the Church. But so many people have had their hopes of seeing it dashed by time. Effie, a 100-year-old follower of Christ, knows what it's like to wait for Jesus to come. She has been waiting for the Second Coming for over 90 years. She still remembers some of her earliest thoughts about the Second Coming. When I talked with her, instead of expressing discouragement, Effie gave me a compelling picture of what waiting for our Heavenly King should be like. She pointed my attention towards Jesus' example of daily living. Perhaps an appropriate expression of our desire to see our Savior would be to emulate his caring, unselfish life. Taking our minds off our own disappointment and setting it upon the needs of others is the Christian way of looking for the second coming. Mm -hmm.